Hands up. Thank you, thank you. Boys, take your positions. The girls are waiting. All right, we're going to stay just on the corner right here. We're going to sit right here. Or where are we going? It's going to be tough to have I'm going to peek around the corner so you can see me. Don't worry. Like, eh. Trust me, I ain't comfortable. All right. I'm going to my happy place. Everybody has a mic. Oh, no. Wherever the young lady that gave me this shirt is, I just want to say thank you. I love this shirt. It's become my new favorite, so thank you. She knows, she knows that's all the more. I promise you. Is that a bag of M&M peanuts, dude? Yeah, man. Man, you are partying hard, dude. Yeah, I'm partying crazy. All right, guys. We're going to do a quick little Q&A session. All questions that were um, sent in by you guys before the cruise, we picked the top questions, and we have all five guys here to answer them for you. You guys ready to start? Let's do it. Okay, guys, from Julie, from St. Louis, what is the most embarrassing thing we could find in your house? Most embarrassing thing you can find in my house? <laughs> Me. Um, wow. Well, that's not, well, yeah, that would be embarrassing. If it was just me by myself, a pirate, it would be very embarrassing. Um, well, oh, she's so bad. You got a chat one, right? Yeah, I know. You know what? I would say probably. Wow. I don't know. It's really. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No. Kind of like what I wore last night for the Halloween party. Um, I have something way worse that I picked up at a sex shop to play a practical joke on my wife. Uh, there's no front. There's just a back. But when I wore it, I didn't realize that my mother-in-law was home. <laughs> So I go up the stairs, all happy, turn the corner, and it's like, oh. Yeah, that's definitely one for me. Okay. Anybody else want to answer that? Anybody else got anything embarrassing in their house? You have nothing embarrassing in your house, really. When I walk around and look in the mirror, I'm like, damn, yeah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Myself. You have nothing out. Nothing embarrassing in your house, though. Maybe a flat iron or something. <laughs> That's embarrassing, man. It's my guy friends. Yeah, they're like, dude, is that your wife's nose? No, mine. Give me too much hair on it. Well, I have, in, in my home studio, I have an eight foot hibachi grill. And some people, like, they go, for real? You have, like, a hibachi grill in your kitchen? And I'm like, yeah. And then it's kind of embarrassing, but it's kind of cool at the same time. Because people go, for real? You have a hibachi grill? I'm like, yeah, we, we cook. It's either Waffle House or, you know, the Japanese. Benihana. Yeah, it's either Benihana. So it's kind of cool and embarrassing at the same time. It's kind of showing off. Just it's because it's like, no, but I mean, sometimes it's showing out so much that it's almost embarrassing. And I don't mean it that way. It just comes across that way. So that's kind of a sucky answer. <laughs> that's all I can think of. You can tell me you don't get like a laugh. <laughs> I have to cross those pants. Come on. All right, the next question is from Christina from West Covina, California. If you could sing one, if you could only sing one piece, piece song for the rest of your lives, which one would it be? If, if what? Oops, if you could only sing one PSP song for the rest of your life, oh, what would it be? Why is your mic so loud as hell? I can't hear them. Breathe. Breathe? Siberia. Just to piss me off, I'd say bad boy. Good sound. Yeah. Okay. I'd sing it to the guys out there. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop, don't do that. Please stop. Oh. 
Why are you using me? If you have like a favorite song now, because they know we hate that song so bad. I should have picked that for the most embarrassing thing in my house on that album. That was the most embarrassing. Alright. From Jessica from Buenos Aires, Argentina. What is your guilty pleasure? One Direction. Yeah. <laughs> I like the album. I like I like the guys. I think it's good. You know, it's like us 20 years ago, and with a British accent. Okay, maybe not exactly. You know what I mean? Hello, Harry. Anybody else have a guilty pleasure? Harry. I have a couple liquid beverages in my refrigerator that are kind of guilty pleasures. What? Liquid beverages. Don't lie, just say John Cicada's greatest hits if you spend a while. A couple of alcoholic beverages that are guilty pleasures. Just don't say that. That's a sucky question. It's like an answer. Mine is sports center. I have to have sports center, which is kind of boring. I guess you could say it's the same about the parents, but man, they suck so damn guilty that be that fan of them. That's the embarrassing thing in your house, New Jersey. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to change my guilty pleasure. I'm going to change mine to friends. Friends is the best guilty pleasure ever. All right. That was good. Ever. Next question comes from Jennifer Deuge from Milton, Canada. After 20 years together, what is the one thing about each of the guys that irritates you the most? He really irritates you. I knew that. You guys don't want us to perform tonight, right? If you want to be a show tonight, because this might end the group. Um, Fans want to know. That irritates us about each other. Right. Do it. Oh, oh man. It's hard to pick one thing. Yeah, it is. It's hard to pick one thing. It's hard to pick one thing. Well, there is one thing I think overall, I think that bothers all of us, and it probably bothers you guys as well, is this thing called backstreet time. That irritates the shit out of me, because especially when you're first and you're waiting on everybody else, <laughs> it's very irritating. No, I mean, we've all had to wait on each other once or twice, some more than others, but backstreet time. That irritates the hell out of me. But it wouldn't be us if we weren't fashion or late. Let's move on. That was a good one. <laughs> Next. I just said you asses. Jen. Where you at, Jen? Oh, now she's singing. Alright, this is from Ailey in Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas! Alright. Love the song, One Phone Call. Of course, can't help but associate it with the song, The Call. Was that an intended transition from the party boy character in The Call to the more mature man of One Phone Call? What's yours, then, Howie? Since you wrote One Phone Call. Yeah. That is a good question. I never thought of it that way. Okay, guess not. Yeah, the answer is no. The answer is no. I guess we'll move on to the next question. Alright, the answer is no, sorry. It's like a such a long question, it's like, no. <laughs> no. Alright, Lindsay Skinner from St. Louis. If you could spend the day as a member of any other boy band, past or present, who would it be and why? I was going to pick a boy band? Any boy band. Any boy band from any? Okay. Bad question. I have to be in Temptations. <laughs> Which one? What? Which one? Which one of them? Well, David Rothman was really cool. I like that guy. Like, who the hell is that? <laughs> I'm going to be John Lennon. Nice. 
Needles for the first boy band. You want to be the fourth season or something? Uh, fourth season. Uh, no, the Ritz called. I'm pretty sure that you guys know what my answer would be. JC from NC. No, Joe. Joey, Joey, you look like Joey. No, it's so obvious. Come on. Lance, that's right. No. Lance, that's <laughs> D Dub from New Kids. Come on, man. That's my brother from another mother. We had a lot of fun on NKO TV this week. It doesn't mean he really like you, anything. <laughs> Actually, he really, really likes me. Joe really, really likes me. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Joe's a great guy, but he just show up randomly on my bus all the time, like unannounced. He walks in singing, please don't go by. Like, really, dude? What are you? What are you doing? Why are you gonna take me with this shit? I know it's gonna happen. Uh, Brian, Kevin? Put that, that story in between. Yeah, I almost went Bobby Brown, but that's not a good ending. What? I'd say Michael Jackson from the Jackson Five. Nice! Ooh, good one! How he took mine, I don't want to Actually, I was going to say Michael Switch, right? We can switch. We can switch. Because actually, I'm more I hit Michael. Brian, what do you think? I don't know. I don't have an answer. You don't have an answer? You're passing? Uh, Alright. Okay. Who, who should I be? Who should I be? Uh, they all said JT. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll pick Justin. I'll be Justin. <laughs> Next question. That's what they said. Jesus. I, I heard JT or TJ. Uh, all right, Dora from North Chicago, Illinois. Ask, ask, ask. Asks. Let me ask you something. What unreleased song would you have liked to have as a single? What? When? What? Unreleased song. Oh, unreleased. Awesome. Oh, I love Permanent Stain. That would have been great. No, unreleased. Like, it's really, 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 truly unreleased. I would say Song for the Unloved. Either the original version or the R&B version. They're both dope. I put your hands up, I don't want to hit you in the head. <laughs> Anybody else? What, what was the name of the song? It was Dana I can Lose it all. Lose it all. Lose it all. That was one of my favorites. Lose it all. <laughs> right, but it wasn't released. It wasn't released. Release. If it was not on an album, that counts. Figured you out was, oh, it was also a good one. No, no, you're right. It counts? If it's on the album, it counts? Unreleased would be not on the album. Yeah, no, no, no. no. Well, well, then I would say one of them R&B joints that we did uh, when we were making Never Gone. Oh, not no more? Well, that was one, but what, what was the other one that was like a, a wedding song? Um, we did oh, with uh, Underdogs. The one that we did with the Jam? Song? Huh? Uh, Rush no, he, he loves that song. Not no more. more. Not no more. You used to be the one I fight for. But not no more. You guys know this? You used to be the one I fight for. There's a thing called the Infant. No, no, no. One of those underdog songs. Uh, I like I like when we do R and B stuff. Who said figures you out? It did sound a lot like the call though, don't, don't you think a little bit with the music? It's a good song though. Alright, next question is from Camilla from Rio de Janeiro. What was the happiest what was the happiest moment? What was your happiest moment with the Bastion Boys? I would say recently getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. That was really cool. We actually all broke down. You didn't really see me. I kind of held it inside a little bit. But emotionally inside I broke down. <laughs> you can break down now, Howie. It's okay. <laughs> it's hard. Right. That's all good stuff. Okay. Hey. Mine was on this cruise. Yeah. yeah. That's right, man. What? What? In the butt. <laughs> okay, Kate from Liverpool. If you had to marry one of the other boys, who would make the best husband? Kevin, things are getting weird. I'm gonna say Kevin. Just get it out of the way. Kevin. And look, he's blushing. Aww. It's okay, sweetie. No, man. Horrible. No. I would like 
to be with I would like to, hold on. Whoa, if our beard's hitting me faster, we start a fire. No, you know what? Too much friction. I take them all to Utah so I can have every one of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, good one, good one. I think it's right. anonymous. Next question. <laughs> sure. I would, I would die an old maid. That was it. My hand. Good answer. My best friend. Wow, so long. Awesome. Be anonymous, you asked me a question. All right, Nikki Hill from Birmingham, UK. Which song, be honest, are you most sick of performing after all the years and singing it over and over and over again? You know, honestly, I, I know I want it that way. Thank you. No, 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 because you know what? That one is really good. Ever since we did a little bit of a remix on the on the beat, I, I, that one's always breathed brand new life. But I probably quit. Quit playing games. Although now the way that we do it in our show, it's actually breathing new life into us. Now that we're playing, you can't use that example. Are you guys all in agreement about quit? Um, Not for me anymore. I'd say the one. Wow. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I just don't like that song. Tough crowd. Tough crowd. So tonight, when you see me singing it, you all know. You know what he's thinking? <laughs> okay. So he kept rolling his eyes during the day. Ava. I would say happy 
happiness is probably a balance of doing what you love and also loving what you do. I don't think that makes sense, but something like that. Perfect. <laughs> Be in here, that's what I was gonna say. No. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say my family. It's like true and true and utter happiness. And you're included, Kev. Yeah, I know, bro. I was like one. But I feel like I'll be the one, I'm not holding a grudge. I was gonna say as long as I got my family and as long as I have my health, then nothing else matters. That's true happiness. And it's for you guys. Give me a hero, baby. <laughs> Nick. 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 Oh, man, put me in a corner. Uh, uh, just, well, I think happiness is the ability to love love someone and share love with uh, with another. And that goes for you guys, and we share our love with you. So uh -huh. sharing our love between each other, that's happiness. Piercing, the world. The world. How good are you at recognizing fans? Who's the best in the group and who's the worst at it? Recognizing fans. I'm probably the best. No, I'm the best, AJ. I'm, seriously. I'm the best. I may not know names, but faces I do not forget. I don't know. Seriously, I don't. And we meet a lot of people every day, but, you know, I think, I'm, pre I think I'm pretty damn good at it. Yeah. No, yeah, you are. We're all good at it. We're all good at it. If I meet you like ten times, I meet your name. I don't, I don't remember names very well, but I remember the faces pretty good. All right. Amanda Meek from Chattanooga, Tennessee asks, what were some favorite memorable moments from this leg of the In a World Like This tour? What was the worst moments? I ripped my ass out twice on tour. In uh, Irvine and Vegas, I ripped my pants out. That was embarrassing. I actually, uh, in, in Irvine, uh, we got people from Irvine, 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 uh -huh. <laughs> In Irvine, we actually, uh, brought a friend of mine, uh, a painter on stage, his name was Wyland, so that was a pretty cool experience. He painted during our show, so that was... It was the worst experience, wasn't it? That's what you were asking? Best, 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 yeah, you said when we yeah, she had to end our set prematurely in Chicago because we went out a little. That was the worst. worst. That was the worst. That was the first time that we had gone. The first time we'd done the show was the first time. Also, we didn't factor in the opening acts time, so that set everything back, and yeah, we didn't get to finish that show. But we're gonna do another U.S. leg. So there you go. You know what? So just come and see the show of the last four songs, and you'll have seen them. Well, hey, I was gonna say one thing. Probably the worst experience for me was not getting across the border of Canada. And it wasn't my fault, actually. That was pretty funny. I found that, it's funny, because actually when you go across the border, you start to learn a lot about each other and your crew. Like, if there's any criminal records or anything like that. And unfortunately, my driver, Little did I know, 30 years ago, I had a criminal armed robbery record. I couldn't get across the damn border. So we had to stay in Detroit, which wasn't bad, but it was nice. But, oh, it was so good. Still not getting across the border with your family and kids, and trying to like, take all your kids and your wife, and hide your kids, hide your wife, and turn them. You gotta get on the other bus, and you're asking like, who's the guy can I bombard with all this extra baggage here? I just said, F it, I'm staying in Detroit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll be a driver. I gotta say this too. This was another experience that uh, I think uh, I enjoyed it actually. Um, we were on tour and Howie uh, came into catering. There was all of our people and our crew in there and it's like pretty. He comes in with his son in catering and drops a stink bomb right at my table, right? And everybody figured it out. Like, maybe. Uh, they were so mad. So I, I don't know if his son who made this whole little like newspaper clipping and how he turned out to be the uh bad shooter, bad shooter. So that was pretty and we, every after show part, we would play the song. I think it's 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 I
Laura from Rockville. If we went to your computer now, what would be the three last websites we'd find in your browser history? Be honest. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. No, uh, hey, man, we're on a boat. Um, I was looking up, Justin will know what this is. I was looking up uh, getting a razor. It's like a four wheel, like a dune buggy. Because um, Justin's got one and he wants me to get one so we can drive it around. Um, the second one, I was looking at realtor.com because my wife and I are trying to move to get into a better house to that's raise on, Ava. That's on my list too, AJ. And the uh, third and final one, porn. What? You have to say which website it is. Oh, um... The exact address, please. It's called xvideos.com. <laughs> it's, it's either that one or Pornhub. One or two. Hey, my wife's not here. I gotta do something. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Religiously. I understand what it's like to be a fanatic. Trust me, guys. I'm on, I'm on the same page. I get it. We're right here. Come on. So I'm still answering, Jan. Tampa Bay. Answering. Don't try to cut me off. Tampa Bay. Um, what did you say? Huh? How do you know? <laughs> no, I'm just I'm happy your computer in it. No, at NFL.com, because I'm losing to Jen Susan right now by maybe like 10 points in fantasy That's tonight. Right. We all play each other in fantasy online, so just so you know. Fantasy football. Fantasy football. Fantasy. <laughs> it's like a whole bondage thing. It's really fun. And I think, I think maybe the third one on the list. Actually, no. Uh, the last one was I was looking up a Kendrick Lamar article because I really like Kendrick Lamar the rapper. So song on hip hop. Mine is cat, catspaws.com, which is UK. I think. Woo! Yeah, for Kentucky Wildcat Sports. I go on there every yeah. day. Fantasy NFL, fantasy football, and. I was actually looking up the lyrics to one of the songs I'm going to sing tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, the internet's so damn slow, I just had to sing yeah. it and write it, handwrite it. Oh, I had to have a look at it. Just put it on the stage. It wouldn't load. It's like dial up. Yeah. <laughs> I had like, <laughs> like a Yahoo like two days ago. It has a refresh for me. <laughs> All right. And make sure you log out. I don't know if you guys have that. Yeah. Okay. Claire from the Netherlands. You have been famous for a long time now, but what is the biggest misconception people have about you? <laughs> about us? Yeah, probably that we broke yeah, up. As a group. Yeah, well, one would be, I'd say, that we broke up. People thought we broke up. And it, it would be the most frustrating thing to, like, go into, like, the grocery store or go through a drive-thru and something.